What's good, what's good, and welcome back to Investing with Jack. So we're going to go over Polygon, guys. It's been a crazy couple of days in the market. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of recovery here, but we'll get into that. So we're up 7 8% on the day, and on the 7-day, uh, 103%. Wow. So uh, market cap sitting at 12.1 billion, and the 24-hour volume is 8.64 billion. All right, guys? So we're going to hop into the technical analysis for polygon as well as for ethereum so we're here on the one hour chart guys and you can see we've had a nice little pump you can see it with ethereum as well as they move very closely together so it's looking healthy on the the one hour uh, we're trying to push through the uh, 0.786 on the fibonacci i'll give a little price target there we're currently at about 215 and the 0.786 is at uh, 212. So if we are able to turn that over into support, we could head up to our next price target at about 235. You can see here was a previous high. I took my Fibonacci from this swing high down to this swing low. Actually, I could move this down just a tad um, to give us some short-term price targets here for. Come on. Oh, I'm too much of a perfectionist. <laughs> um, and we can see here the yellow line, the 20 EMA, is almost crossing the 55, which is bullish, guys. That would be a bullish cross. Um, so if we are able to turn that into support, we can head back up to 235. All right, guys. So let's head over to the to the four hour, and then we'll do the one day and the one week. So you can see here, guys, on the four hour chart we've created the left side of a double bottom pattern a w double bottom so a possibility guys is we would do something like this where we come up and then we come back down to form a double bottom which is a, a sign of a reversal that's a possibility guys i have to always give the bullish and the bearish possibilities because sometimes i'm too bullish <laughs> And then the bearish scenario takes place and it's like, oh boy. <laughs> so I have to be real and give both scenarios. So we are above the 20 EMA and using it as support, um, which is a bullish sign, guys. But if we were to create uh, that double bottom and we were to roll over um, around this 0 0.786, we could find support here, which is a previous swing high. We can see we had quite a bit of resistance at the 0 0.05 on the Fibonacci which was at about whoa a dollar 82 and then we also have our strong bottom here if we were to create that double bottom at a dollar 56 um for for our friend polygon right so let's put it onto the one day do 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 So we can see here on the one day chart that our wick came right down to the 20 EMA and found support, which is a great sign. You want to see us finding support along the 20. As you can see here, we pumped, we rolled over and we came back to the 20 EMA. Um, actually, let's quickly pull up our RSI and look at our relative strength index now remember guys anything over 70 on the rsi anything over this white line 70 is overbought and anything under 30 is oversold so currently we're sitting in the purple box it's good to see us come back down into that purple box with that correction that we had here that's healthy guys so let's put it onto the one week so we are a little bit overextended on the weekly here but not too bad you can see we're still <laughs> quite overbought on the weekly but that's kind of normal when you're having these massive uh, pumps and, and when you're on a bull run so let's put it back onto the hourly actually we're actually we're going to hop over into ethereum and then we'll come back and give our price predictions here as ethereum is our master energy so you can see it's very similar guys where you have the left side of your bottom so there is the possibility that we come up and we hit resistance find some resistance along the 20 ema and create that double bottom that's one possibility it would be a good sign because the double bottom is a pattern for a reversal to the upside so we're here on the four hour chart and you can see we found a pretty strong bottom uh, right here which was a previous level of resistance in this area at about 2468 we did come all the way down to 1847 for for a very short period and then we shot back out that was absolutely crazy um, so it would be beautiful to see that this is our bottom um, but there's always the possibility guys of further correction so if we do roll over uh, we do have this previous swing high which was at uh 
uh, 2613, 2613. And then we have our bottom if we were to create that double bottom at 2448. Now we would need some pretty significant buying pressure to get back above these EMAs. You can see here, we're trying to get back above the 0.382 on the Fibonacci, uh, which is at about 2835. So the bullish scenario is that we're able to create higher highs and higher lows and get back above these EMAs. And of course, if that happens, Polygon's just gonna absolutely go through the roof. Um, but there's always a possibility of that double bottom, guys. Remember, nothing is guaranteed when you're looking at charts. Uh, you're going off patterns and things like percentages to give you a better outlook and a better idea of the next move in the market all right guys so you can see here on the daily we are trying to get back above the 50 ema so the bullish scenario would be we get back above we turn into support and we could continue onwards and head back up to like 3120 and then we had quite a bit of resistance up here at 34 uh, 29 so let's put it onto the weekly so we can see here on the weekly chart for Ethereum that our red wick came down below um, the 55 EMA and found that support right in that area of 1760. And then we just bounced right back up. So if we do continue to roll um, to find the 20 EMA, we could do something like this where we come down to those price targets of 2645 or 2448 for Ethereum as we are just a little bit overextended from the 20 EMA currently on the weekly. Um, so let's put it onto the one hour for Ethereum and then we'll hop back into Polygon and we'll kind of wrap up this video. So we're here on the one hour and you can actually see a bit of a head and shoulders pattern on the hourly. So here's your head, here's your left shoulder, here's your right shoulder, but we're, we're breaking above the head. And if we break above, um, then it invalidates the head and shoulders. If we, do, we are to break above the head and create higher highs and higher lows. So keep an eye out for that, that we break above the head of this head and shoulders pattern and would invalidate it. But if we do roll over, then we can come back to these price targets here of about 24.48. And then we also had that bottom here at about 22.10. All right, guys. So let's go back to Polygon and kind of give some short-term price predictions here on the one-hour chart. So let's take our Fibonacci. Remember, guys, you'll take it from your swing high down to your swing low. Now, this is a short-term price target. Sometimes I'll take it from a previous swing high, like way up here, down to your swing low to kind of give some longer term uh, price targets. But I'll just keep it with some short term price predictions as the market is quite volatile. So if we're able to break above, which we are right now, the 0.786 on the Fibonacci, we have that next price target, which was a previous swing high at $2.31. And then we also have uh, these swing highs at about two dollars and 44 where we could find some resistance as well as two dollars and 55 was our high now if we saw some major recovery we could head up to this price target here at about two dollars and 94 cents but if we do start finding resistance in this range guys then we can roll back here on the fibonacci you can see we had quite a bit of support here at a dollar 91 and then you can come down on your Fibonacci to about $1.82 um, if we were to roll over. And if we were to head towards that double bottom, it doesn't look like it currently. Uh, it looks like that we're just trending back up to, to uh, tackle that high here at about $2.33. But if Ethereum, we're here on the Ethereum chart, if we were to create that double bottom, if we were to do a little something like this, then of course, Matic would come back down here um to this bottom most likely here at about a dollar 45 a dollar 46 so what we want to see is we head up to that price target of two dollars and 33 you can see we're almost having the bullish cross um, but if, of course if ethereum does roll over if we hit resistance we roll over them then polygon will follow all right guys just want to be as real as possible and kind of give you both scenarios so that's it for this one if you got any value it goes a long way if you smash that like button uh, subscribe turn on notifications if you're new you can follow me on instagram twitter check out the discord patreon link in the bio and i'll see you in the next one much love take care mm -hmm.